Hi, this is a, a rather untidy section of uh, our holding that we call the Peace Orchard because we relax a bit down here and uh, we're turning it over to a wild flower meadow with widely spaced trees that we're going to leave to themselves to a very large extent. Uh, so watch this space over the next five or ten years, hopefully. I uh, just want to have a quick look at some of the um, apple trees I grafted earlier and I think this is a particular one this tree was in a previous video uh, showing the saddle graft that's the the tie which I'm going to release now and that's the overall um, tree so you can see that's really done quite well this here is the pencil of scion wood that was grafted in you can see that's the the bottom of it and that's the top of it and the rest of it is all that's grown away and this is the same tree that I grafted just a few months ago uh, I'm now going to with care and a very sharp knife just um, release the uh, the tie here you want to be careful not to uh, do any damage to the underlying tree I think a, a, sh a short um, clean cut probably doesn't do a lot of harm but obviously do as little damage as you can okay so we'll just release the tie and round about now is a good time to do it last week of July okay so you can see then that's uh, the saddle graft that I made you can see this nice lively uh, growth of wood that's made it's getting pretty tight at the top there you see pretty tight so it's important to take these off. If you leave them on, they'll um, uh, cut into the tree and that may do a lot of harm. And uh, it's been quite successful. That one's grown well. That one's grown well. You see how tight that is, it needs to be taken off. And these trees will be, frankly, they're good enough to be planted out this, um, this coming autumn. Here's just an example of one that needs a little bit of attention. That's grown away nicely there, but we've got to take that out. That's the, that's the rootstock. We don't want the rootstock. Uh, we want the rootstock for roots, we don't want it growing away. So it's important to just give your trees that attention. But again, you can see that's where the pencil of wood was grafted in with the saddle graft technique that's on a, on a form of the previous video. And that's how nicely it's grown. And I think we've got close to 100% success here. So you can see that the saddle graft, if you have a sharp knife, a steady hand, and a little bit of tape, and some rootstocks, uh, then um, you can do it. It's not difficult. I learned it from a book, got it right first time. And don't forget the label. 